So welcome to this video in which we continue the investigation into the possibility of big cats here in Northern Ireland. So if you remember from the last video, we were investigating this site around the edges of the forest where likely signs of predation would have taken place. And as you can see from the red circles with the white dots in the middle, that's where we found feeding sites of at least one skull in each location to show that's at least how many places where a predator or carnivore had been feeding on sheep. Further to this, the blue circle was a, a bird and the X was some strange claw marks. This investigation, we found some additional things. As you can see, we found quite a few new, unusual tree structures in the woods, as well as an additional feeding site. The yellow X shows where we found a beehive. The red stars show where we found large droppings that looked like they could possibly be from cats. And the red dot shows where I found an isolated bone. Strange noises on the wind. Great place to check out some tracks, a bit of mud right by the car, and uh, zoom in. So, see the dog here? Triangle at the back. Classic dog, triangle at the back. There's deer. Deer, the two toes look kind of. That one more difficult to see. That one does look much more cat-like, although I'm not saying it is, and uh, yeah, it's interesting. Wow, look at that, the animal using this path, they go down there, use as a stepping stone over, and we're right on the edge of the wood here. Here you can see that there's the jawbone of a sheep, this and in fact it's still skull. relatively fresh, there's bone there. Here you can see right on the edge of the forest here, this is where I came across the remains of another sheep. There was quite a lot of it around this boggy area. And it's possible that this particular animal actually perished somehow with this water. That being said, this whole area of marshland is largely the same consistency, including beyond the fence and the river below. The river's out of sight, you can't quite see it, but the fences there. It's actually very, very much the same consistency. This would suggest that this particular breed of sheep is well adapted to living in this kind of boggy, marshy environment. Here you can see a scapula from a sheep, and this is the most common bone that I actually find, often in isolation. Here you can see one of the carcasses that we found is the backbone and rib cage of an adult sheep, and you can see it's been articulated in such a way as to be pulled around as it was fed on. Here you can see on one of the fleeces that there's still the marks given by the farmer. Now often these marks are used for identification of individual sheep that belong to a particular owner. 
no sign of a body. But there is a big patch of wool here and some wool on the trees around. So this looks could be where something got attacked at some level. Like deer droppings here. And then um drag somewhere, but no sign of drag marks. Which is a strange yeah, interesting. This right on the edge. It's very really strange, but wool everywhere under this. And even little ties of it under there. It's quite a challenge to get in there. It's almost like tied up. It's very really strange. Look at that. Wow, that one looks really odd. Like it's been tied up together. Yeah. Hmm. No bones here though. So this is the obstacle facing any sheep wishing to cross here. So it's quite a challenge for sheep actually to get in here in the first place. See what I don't get is why that place here isn't full of dead sheep. That's what I don't get. It's a game, good game trail along there. Take a look for good footprints. There's a good deer print there, look at that one. I would say that that is windfall. creature here has uh, unearthed and uh, looks like hollowed out a honeybee nest and um, presumably to get the um, warning cords down in the woods presumably to get the honey but uh, I'm wearing too much black to go too close because they attracted the black so I'm going in my hat Very large prints, something around here. Let's see the rough size of it. Yeah, yeah rough sheep. Good to say, actually. That's partly me. Tuck it there. Just on the way out here, spotted this. Look. Bones. Ribs, backbone, all kinds of stuff behind down here. There's a rib I spotted before. So, uh, I need to mark it on the edge of this wood. So, here again is the trail that I took, taking the pink trail and with most of the elements shown on it. However, the final deer carcass is not marked, but it was after I found the honey marked with the yellow X. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe.